Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Paul. Uh, I'm going to read these articles here in the paper. And in the morning, I've just looked at the paper and I see the Czech paper is called Today. And there it says, who's going to teach me English? Help, help me. And then there is go this this critique of the present-day teaching of English language that since the change of 1989 there has been so much enthusiasm and so much passion for language and suddenly today most of the children who have been taught English at school since they have been five, six, seven years old they see it's no good. They don't speak, they don't see, they don't experience, they don't live in the English language they just repeat some few phrases and few words and that the method of teaching is very wrong. So I'm taking this short video to give you the opportunity to call me as a teacher because I've been studying linguistics in two universities in Prague. I've been working as an interpreter for English and German for many years. Then I studied linguistics and theoretical linguistics at the University of Constance in Germany and I have a master degree in that and I've been living in German and English speaking cultures for about 30 years abroad and uh, I've been teaching even in the Petirov School of English in the Czech Republic with great success and I move constantly and uh, high level speaking communities in Germany and in English speaking countries so if you want to get uh, me as a teacher, you are welcome. You can look at my website. It comprises all the aspects of human perfection. Let us say this is health, wellness, fitness, education, travel, and above all, a certain concentration of all the effort on the basic of some philosophical mm, approach to a human being. What is a human being? What is a society? I am a critical person as far as the modern uh, way of life is concerned, this tremendous tempo under which people try to run there and run there and run there and learn a little bit of this, do a little bit of this and that. No, a teaching must be a compact effort when you go and you stay with your guru or your teacher for at least a day of full impact and that's why I connect these um, I connect these activities like sport, like education, like um, wellness and fitness and travel and you can get me as a personal teacher, it costs you certainly some money eh? but I'm also not against teaching in some uh, private school and some private institution that well realizes my approach which is an approach of of uh, a kind of theatrical. I've been using this in the US Army when I was teaching soldiers and had to be very fast and I was teaching German and in the English Army um, Educational Center. I um, use my great uh, abilities of uh, understanding phonology and the ways of pronunciation. When I say so much, I teach you pro pronounce English words, your English uh, vowels, your tongue has to be somewhere in the middle of your mouth and not like mm, mm, mm. so you lie down, you play it, you lie like you were drunk, okay, so your pronunciation gets better if you like horizontally and there are thousands and thousands of physical and physiological processes that help you to pronounce properly and to feel like you are in the language and that's why I use these sport techniques and yoga and qigong or whatever so this is it, I'm not against teaching in some private school uh, and if they realize that my way of teaching is always part-time I can give you a full course and in two weeks people will learn more than in five years in another system eh? but then I have to leave and leave my old style to get my own injury you know, on biological farms so if there's a school like that in some northern Bohemia close to the giant mountains and close to Ustina Labem where I like to live because of my childhood so I can even teach there for some time so this was just to give you the idea and you can write me on my website www.gamaron.europe so e -U. okay see you then bye bye